We're just about to get some dye. The dye is made out of soot, which is carbon that comes from burning firewood. And it rises to the ceiling. And I'm gonna show you how we sweep it out of the ceiling and how it becomes dye. The next step, we set it out to dry so that when it is all dry and the color has gotten into the fiber, now we go and weave our bags. So we put it in the sun, it will sit here maybe one or two hours, and then after it's done, we go and make our beautiful bags. So... This is the dye that we got from the suit, from the house. So what you do, if you want to make like a tie and dye pattern, you dye parts of the rope and then you leave some other parts with their original color. So that when you're weaving, as you go, the bag will change color. So we have parts that have the dye and parts that are just the way they were, so that you get the pattern. That is how they come up with the patterns. So if you wanted black and red, you would come to this part, then you would put some black on parts of the rope and some red so as you weave it will go changing the colors and the patterns so that is why every bag is unique because no dye we, you cannot replicate the pattern every bag is unique in itself so that's why they are so pretty and creative